what is up guys welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about my favorite recipe and that is these homemade whole foods protein bars this is a personal favorite if you've been following me on instagram you'll know that i love food and i love making good food good nutritious food i shared an image of these bars a while back i didn't post the recipe because i'm still tweaking with it today i wanted to bring you a video on how to make them just because they are so easy, delicious, and nutritious. Unintentional rhyming. These bars are great for a meal replacement. I personally really like them post-workout because they pack quite a fair amount of carbohydrates uh, and generally some more sugary ones because you know we're using fruit as a base for this recipe. So I like to stack these post-workout. They got a load of essential fatty acids, they got some good protein, some natural proteins, lots of fiber lots of cacao powder which is one of the most sort of mineral dense plants on the planet so loads of good stuff in this recipe today you guys and as i said it's really really easy so without further ado i'm just going to jump straight into this video with the ingredients then the method and then i will talk to you a little bit about them afterwards so let's jump straight into the ingredients starting with the wet ingredients we have some dried fruit here i've got about a three to one ratio of dates to apricots you can also use figs, they work pretty well, but I think dates are probably the best go-to for this. I've got 450 grams of dried fruits. Next, you're gonna want some coconut oil. Here, I've got 60 grams of some raw organic coconut oil from Lucy B. Next, you're gonna want some almond butter. You're only gonna want 20 grams of this, preferably the stuff that's a little bit runny. You're then gonna want some honey, doesn't matter if it's runny or set honey, just to add a little bit of sweetness to that final product, you're gonna want 20 grams of this as well. And then the last wet ingredient is vanilla paste, and you're only gonna want a teaspoon of this, so about five grams, just to add a hint of vanilla to the final bar. Next we have the dry ingredients. The first one we have is hemp protein powder. Now, I've got unflavored protein powder here, and I've, you're gonna, but you can also use whey protein, probably rice protein, also work pretty well. You get 180 grams of protein powder in total. Next, you're gonna want some cocoa or cacao powder. Uh, if you have an unflavored protein like me to begin with, you're gonna want to use more of this. Um, so 60 grams of cacao powder. If you have a chocolate or vanilla flavored protein, I'm gonna go with 80 grams here because mine is unflavored. Next, we're gonna want some nuts and seeds. So in total, we're gonna to want 250 grams of nuts and seeds. I've split this into 75 grams of cashews, 75 grams of a mixture of hemp seeds, chia seeds, and cacao nibs. I'll explain why those, why those are in one uh, container in a second. And then 50 grams of walnuts and 50 grams of pumpkin seeds. So in total here, I have 250 grams of nuts and seeds. You can kind of go with whatever you personally prefer. I would recommend anything like almonds, Brazil nuts, pumpkin seeds, um, chia seeds and hemp seeds work really well. All of those sort of good stuff. Just go wild here. This is where you can experiment. But today I'm gonna to be using cashews, walnuts, chia, hemp, cacao and pumpkin seeds. And the last dry ingredient is some salt. You're literally just going to want a pink pinch of some proper sea salt or rock salt. So I've got some Himalayan pink salt here as well. So the main thing you're going to want for making these protein bars is a food processor. Uh, this is simply because you're going to want to blend up the dates and the dried fruit along with the nuts as well into a nice smooth um, but still chunky paste. So step number one. While we still have a clean food processor, we're gonna to want to break down the nuts and seeds that we have. So the reason that I left these cacao nibs, chia seeds and hemp seeds in a single container by themselves is that we don't actually wanna break these down any more than they are because they're pretty small already. So I'm just gonna throw in the cashew nuts and the walnuts and then also the pumpkin seeds all into the food processor and then just give them a quick blitz to break them down a bit. So you don't want to blitz them too much, just kind of break them up a bit so they're a little bit smaller and then you can chuck these into a bowl for later. 
Doesn't matter if you leave a little bit of residue into the blender, it's all gonna go in there eventually. Next, you're gonna want to combine all the wet ingredients into a paste. So we're gonna start with the dried fruit. If you're using dates and they've got pips in, then you're gonna to wanna to remove all of those quickly before you throw them into the fruit processor. So now we have our soft fruit in the food processor. We're gonna to want to give it a blitz and then add the rest of the wet ingredients. While we're giving this a blitz, you're gonna to want to weigh out your coconut oil and then put it into a hot water bath, which will look something like this. You can have a bowl and then an inside container and then you're gonna fill it with hot water just so it melts down. If you live in a hot climate where you already have liquid coconut oil, then you can just throw that straight in after you've blitzed this. So while we're waiting for this to melt, I'm just gonna throw in the remaining wet ingredients, which is the honey and the almond butter. So now our coconut oil has melted, all the wet ingredients are in the food processor. We're now gonna to wanna to blitz this up until it turns into like a smooth paste. You may need to add a tiny bit of cold water to this as you go along, but don't add too much, just add it if you need to. So I'm gonna give this a blitz now. So after you've blitzed it all together, it should look somewhat like this, kind of like a sticky, gloopy mess. And then what you're gonna to want to do is scoop all that out into a mixing bowl. So now this is where the fun bit comes in because we have our thick and gloopy mess in here and we're now gonna to want to add all of those dry ingredients into this. But there isn't really any clean way to do this. The best thing to do is get your hands dirty and just mix it up with your hands. So we are back and we've got basically this massive ball of goodness. What we're gonna do here is basically press it into a mold. So I've got here a silicon um, dish. It's probably about 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters. You can kind of put it down into whatever you want to put it into. Definitely go for silicon because it's not gonna stick. And this is pretty sticky as you can tell by my hands. So. Make sure you've got all the remnants that is in the bowl. Just kind of pick it all up. And then we're just gonna plonk it straight in there and then just press it to fit the shape. Try and get all, everything you can off your fingers and into the bowl. Don't want to miss out on any of that goodness. But also remember that if you get anything that sticks to your fingers, you know, stickage is lickage. So there we have it in our dish. These are probably about that thick. So quite a nice healthy amount. Because we've got some liquid ingredients in here like the coconut oil, 
And then we've also got the dates and the water. We wanna make sure this is really, really rock solid before we portion it up into our separate bars. So all I'm gonna do now is throw this in the fridge for about 30 minutes just to let it all solid up. And then I can get rid of all the mess that I've also made while making this video. So there we have it guys. The final product has been in the fridge for about 20 minutes now. It is like a lot more solid. Not that it wasn't solid to begin with. All I'm gonna do now is grab a knife and just separate it up. I personally like to put it into about 10 parts because that means there's roughly 20 grams of protein per bar. You can put it into less or more if you like. But I find that with the amount of ingredients that I've put in this recipe, split it into 10 works out to be about the right amount for a post-workout snack. So I'm just gonna split that up now. So now we split it out, all you have to do is break it apart and grab out your bars, like so. And there you have it. Some nice, chunky protein bars. You've got all the good nuts and seeds in there. And also, it tastes amazing. Um, this is generally one of my favorite sweets. They're kind of like sticky, chocolatey, nutty, everything goodness in there. So that is it guys, we have made these beautiful awesome protein bars. It's a bit of a mucky process but it is pretty damn fun. So just as a quick note, if you want to store these protein bars, they will last for about a week in the fridge. If you want to keep them longer, you can wrap them individually in cling film and they will last a while in the freezer. You literally just take them out half an hour before you want to eat them, leave them on the side and they will probably defrost within that time and I've done that and they work perfectly fine. You can keep loads in the freezer for whenever you want to post-workout. I think the macronutrients per bar, if you're splitting into 10, like I personally do, it works out to be about 20 grams of protein, about 50-ish grams of carbohydrates, about 20 grams of fat. There are thereabouts, depending on what nuts you use, what seeds you use and all of that sort of good stuff. It's gonna be great post-workout, as I said, because we've got some like higher glycemic carbohydrates from those dates and those dried apricots, which is gonna help refuel your muscle glycogen after your workout. We've also got that protein from the hemp protein. If you use other proteins like whey, the protein is gonna be significantly higher per bar because hemp is only about 50% protein, whereas a whey isolate can be like 80, 90%. So you're gonna be looking at more like 30 or 40 grams per bar if you use whey. I haven't used whey uh, with this recipe, I've only used hemp, so I couldn't tell you how that turns out, but give it a try and let me know. The other modifications you could do apart from changing the protein powder would be adding some essential oils like mint or orange. That works really well to have like a chocolate mint, chocolate orange taste. You can take out the cacao powder and um, basically add in a little bit more protein powder that is flavored. So if you've got like a, a strawberry protein powder or a vanilla protein powder, you could just add a bit more vanilla extract, a little bit more protein powder, and it kind of would balance out the taste. Although I freaking love chocolate, so why not have a dark chocolate flavored protein bar? As I said in the video guys, you can choose whatever nuts and seeds you want for this particular one. You can also go with different dried fruits. I think cherries work pretty well, apricots, which is what I had there. I think dates are probably the best and also the best post-workout. But that is kind of it. Uh, if you enjoyed these sort of nutrition videos, then let me know down in the comment section down below because I am pretty passionate about nutrition and diet and eating clean and how important that is for making proper progress with your training. So I would love to make more videos on it and if you guys are keen, then that would be great. If you enjoy this recipe, then give it a thumbs up. If you've tried it, let me know in the comments down below. And if you have any other recipes that you would like me to make or think of a recipe for, if you go onto my Instagram, there's loads of different examples of like pancake recipes and cake recipes and nutritious foods and curries and chilies that I could make for you guys. So just let me know in the comments down below anything you would like. And if you have a buddy who maybe waste a lot of money on those shop bought protein bars and then send them over this recipe. Why buy a bar when you can do it at home for less money and get a better product at the end of it. But that has been it for today guys. Thanks again for watching. Have a strong week and peace.